Hi everyone. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to find background information on your topics using books, ebooks, and the Gale ebooks database. So once you have your research question, it's time to start collecting resources. If you're asking yourself what resources, well, for your presentation assignment, you're expected to have at least five scholarly sources. These can be books, ebooks, and scholarly articles, which are most commonly found in library databases such as ProQuest or EBSCO. Scholarly sources are different from popular sources such as magazines, newspapers, and most websites. This is covered in greater detail on the Find Articles page of this research guide. So here we are back at the library home page. Um, the quickest way to find us is to Google Rio Hondo College Library. We are also accessible through Access Rio and riohondo.edu uh, site. So uh, due to coronavirus, we're not currently checking out physical books in our library, but uh, I want to show you our library catalog in order to access eBooks, which are gonna be very useful uh, for your research in this project. Okay, so to find eBooks, the easiest way is to go to the menu to the left and select books and eBooks. Okay, so this is our new library catalog. Uh, for those of you who've used the catalog uh, previous to this semester, it may look a bit different to you. Um, uh, this catalog is called Primo, and it's the same catalog that's used by many other California community colleges, as well as most UC schools and uh, California state universities. Okay, but it is uh, pretty easy to use. I'm going to show you some sample searches and how to specifically find ebooks. So using the research question that I created for this course, um, I'm going to use some of the keywords from that and uh, show you how I would search for ebooks. So I'm going to start with a search for anything on selfie culture. Okay, now one thing you might notice that I did was I put quotation marks around that term. Uh, this is a database search tip uh, called phrase searching. Uh, basically, anytime you have a term that's two or more words, uh, we recommend putting these quotation marks. It helps the um, database know that uh, these two words go together and it does uh, improve your search results quite a bit. So I'm going to click on Selfie Culture in the library catalog. Okay, and two books came up. Okay, now the first one I see here, I know it's a physical book within the library uh, because it's got a call number right here. So the call number is what we use um, as almost the address where the book is located within the library. So uh, that kind of rules uh, this title out uh, for the time being since we're specifically looking for books that we can access online. Going now into the next selection, we see that there is an available online uh, link. So I could click on that and view the full text of that particular book. I'm going to exit out of that because um, what I would really want to do if I only got two results is I'd probably want to revise my search a bit to uh, use terminology that's a bit broader. Okay, So I want more than just two results generally. So instead of selfie culture here, I'm going to type in selfie. And you might see uh, more selections down here uh, come up, uh, selfies, photography, social aspects. So these are subjects which are related to my term. So uh, you can click on those if those are relevant to your search. But I'm just going to keep it basic to selfie. OK, so this shows me that we got 25 results. OK, so there are 25 books or ebooks in our catalog uh, which mention uh, selfie in some way. Now, if you want to skip all the physical books, uh, there is a quick and easy way to do that. If you go over to the left are our catalog's filters. OK, and these filters do uh, a number of different things. First thing here is availability. So there's two selections here. There's held by catalog excuse me, held by library and available online. 
So since I'm only looking for books that are available online, I could just click on that. And it gets rid of all the physical books in my uh, search result. So it looks like there are seven ebooks available. Um, some other filters I could show you is if you're trying to limit by publication date. Say you're only looking for books published in the last 10 years or so. I could limit that here. Now for uh, the books that came up for me, uh, all, se all seven of these were published between 2016 and 2018. So I don't really need to use that limiter, but that is available to you as well. Uh, there are also some subject terms uh, which may help you narrow down your results quite a bit as well. So let's look through our results. Okay. Um, once you have a decent amount of results, uh, I always recommend just looking through the titles and seeing what jumps out at you. Uh, here's one called The Happiness Effect, How Social Media is Driving a Generation to Appear Perfect at Any Cost. So I'm going to click on that title just to get a little bit more information on that book. Okay, so here on this page, it gives you some information on the uh, book itself. It kind of gives you some subjects that are um, dealt with inside the book. It has uh, content, so a lot of times chapter descriptions and a description of what is inside the book. Some other information as well. So if that looks good, uh, what I'd want to do is access the ebook itself. So to do that, I'm going to click on View Full Text. Okay, and uh, what you will notice is that if you are off campus, which you most likely are, since most of us are off campus these days, uh, you will get a window asking for your Rio Hondo College login. So this is your Access Rio username and password. So I am going to enter mine in real quick and the reason why this comes up and the reason why they want your access Rio username and password is to verify that you are actually students uh, the school does pay a lot of money for these resources the uh, databases and ebooks so they just want to make sure that you guys are actually students so here's our page for the EBSCO ebook database. Okay, a little bit more uh, information on the title itself, kind of similar to what we saw in the catalog. To access the ebook, go over to uh, PDF uh, full text link there. I'm going to click on that. Okay, it does take a moment, but here is your ebook. Okay, so a few things I'd like to talk about with ebooks. Okay, so each of our different ebooks have different permissions. They are listed over here on the side. A lot of the ebooks, only one person is allowed to access them at a time, so it's almost like a physical book in that way. Uh, but once that person logs off, um, another person is able to use that resource. So if you try to uh, get a copy of an ebook and you're told um, someone is currently using this this resource, uh, just wait a couple hours. Uh, try logging in again later. Uh, hopefully the person who was using it has uh, logged out of that. Okay. So, uh, but there are certain permissions allowed. Um, you are able to uh, print, email, or save a certain amount of pages. In this case, it looks like it's about 100 pages. Uh, this says it has unrestricted download, so you can actually download this book to your device. So that's good. Um, one thing I like about ebooks, besides being very accessible and um, something that you can actually uh, gain access to at home is that you can search within the text. So over here we have this search within selection. If I click on that and I can put in one of my keywords and see if there's anything within the books that is written uh, with that keyword included. So say I'm looking for 
information on Instagram. I'm writing specifically on Instagram and I want to see if the book has mentioned it at all. So I put in my keyword, hit return. Wow, so I got 71 keyword matches. That means Instagram is mentioned 71 times within the text of my book. So what you can do is go through these selections and see if one pops out at you. If it does, you can just click on it. And it takes you directly to that passage from the book. Uh, there are a number, number of tools available to you as well in this ebook database. Again, you can uh, save pages, email pages, or print pages. Uh, there is a citation generator here. I'm not sure if it actually has the ASA citation, which is what you would need. No, it does not. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, there is a tab for ASA citation advice on this research guide, so uh, definitely visit that if you're having trouble with your citations. Okay, now I'd like to discuss the Gale eBooks database. Uh, so we're back at the library homepage. To access the databases, what you do is go to the uh, menu on the left and click on Articles and Databases. So this brings you to our database page. These are all the databases that the library subscribes to and that you have access to as students. Uh, all of the databases are listed by title in this center column here. For information on what each specific database does, you can click on the little I there and it will give you an overview of um, that particular database's function. Some of our more popular databases are listed over here on the left, EBSCO, ProQuest, and Gale eBooks, which is what we're going to discuss. And on the right, again, is information on how to um, gain access to databases from off-campus with your access real username and password. So right now I'm going to discuss uh, Gale eBooks, uh, which used to be called Gale Virtual Reference Library. So go ahead and find that link and click on it here. Okay, so here's the Gale eBooks database. Now what makes Gale eBooks special is that it's an online collection of encyclopedia and reference eBooks. So this is really great for background information on your topic. Now I realize that a lot of students, uh, first thing you do when you start your research is to go online and look up your topic in Wikipedia. Now Wikipedia is a great resource, but um, due to the fact that anyone can edit it, uh, you cannot use Wikipedia in college level papers. So uh, Gale eBooks is a great alternative for that background research, which you can actually cite within your paper. It is scholarly information. So I want to do a couple sample searches here. Uh, say I was interested in getting background information on selfie culture. Just see if that term is there. Okay, so I type that in. Okay, so there's no results for that. So what I'd want to do at this point is broaden my search just a bit more. I'll just see if selfie is mentioned. Okay, so there are eight results here with selfie. And some of these don't really look like they're quite relevant to what I'm looking for. So I'm going to broaden my search even further. And I'm going to try social media. Again, notice I'm using that phrase searching by using the uh, entering in the quotation marks there. So when I search social media, that expands my results for quite a bit. Now I have over a thousand results. So that's almost too many. So at this point, what I want to do is use the advanced search function. So go over here and click advanced search. So what an advanced search enables me to do is to search for two or more keywords within my search. So this really helps me narrow down uh, to the information I'm specifically looking for. So we know there's a lot of results for social media. So I'm going to enter that in. 
but I'm going to enter in another term that I want to see if uh, there's any information about these together. So I want to see if there's anything written on social media and body dysmorphic disorder. So once I've got two uh, keywords here, I'll hit search. Okay, and it shows that I have 29 results. Okay, so that's 29 encyclopedia entries which discuss both social media and the link to body dysmorphic disorder. Okay, so it looks like I actually have some good results here. Here's the Encyclopedia of Psychology, an entry on body image. Here's Encyclopedia of Adolescent Health and Wellness, Body Image and Guys, and then here's one, Body Image and Girls. Now we know we're specifically talking about girls because of the research question I created as reporting specifically on the population of young women and teenage girls. So that might actually be a good uh, source of background information. I'm going to click on that. Okay, and here's what a typical uh, page looks like in this database. It gives you a lot of information on here, my topic, and this one is body image and girls. So again, this is a great source of background information for you. If you find this to be a good resource, there is also further reading usually at the bottom of the page. It might have some relevant websites and articles or books. Uh, there are also source citation. Uh, again, unfortunately, it doesn't look like ASA is available in this particular database. Um, but again, uh, look at the ASA citation tab in this research guide for more help with that. There are also some tools available in this uh, website that I want to uh, point out to you. Uh, citation tool I mentioned, unfortunately, it doesn't have ASA, but you can send this article to yourself. You can email this article directly to yourself if you just click that. Um, also, if you have Google Drive or OneDrive available, you can just drop the article directly uh, through Google Drive or OneDrive. You can also download this. It will download a PDF image of the article. Or you can print it, get a hyperlink, and you are also able to um, annotate and make highlights and notes of this, um, this article. Okay, so that's Gale eBooks. Uh, this is a really great place to start when you're looking for background information on your topic. And uh, what I always like to advise people, especially when they're doing complicated topics, is seek out that good background information first. Really make sure that you're understanding your topic before you're trying to report on it and find scholarly articles which uh, further elaborate on it. Okay, thank you for watching this video.